Well, you can do a good deed all while rewarding yourself because it's time for the annual taste of the bluegrass and a great way to enjoy Kentucky cuisine and drinks. And I'm a judge again this year, and I'm so glad it's my favorite event of the entire year. Of course, it is a huge fundraiser for God's Pantry Food Bank. Michael Halligan is here today to tell us all about it and brought us some of the things that you can taste at this year's Taste of the Bluegrass. Great to have you with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah. We are so excited for this year's 38th annual Taste of the Bluegrass. It's going to be a wonderful time. We're really looking forward to it. So 38 years. Explain Jeez. what this is that Haley gets all jazzed up about. I love it. I love it. So it's a, it's a fundraiser for God's Pantry Food Bank. Yep. Uh, it's at the Keeneland uh, Keen Barn and Entertainment Center right. on May 18th. It's an opportunity for people to sample some of the best food and drink from all over the bluegrass in central and eastern Kentucky. But did one ticket get you in, that kind of deal? One ticket, $85. Yeah. Uh, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. on that Friday night. Uh, and you can sample all of the food and drink that's available. Over 55 vendors wow. are going to be there this year. We're really looking so forward to it. So that one ticket gives me carte blanche. It gives you carte blanche. Ooh. I mean, and it is everything. If you haven't been before, I mean, you get stuffed. I mean, there's yeah. so much to eat and drink. I know $85 sounds like a lot, but it's worth it when you get to, you know, by the time you go through all the drink stations, all the yep. food stations, and there's it's everything. And a great cause, too. It is, yeah. How important are the, is the money raised from this event to you guys? So what we're able to do with the with the proceeds, uh, we use those funds to gather and distribute enough food to create over a million meals yeah. for the bluegrass in central and eastern Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be distributing that food that we then gather with these funds for the rest of the year. It's amazing how much money is raised through this. And is it one of the biggest fundraisers you guys have? It is our signature fundraiser yeah. of the year. We have two or three others that we do later in the summer and in the fall. This is our signature fundraising event. So tell us about some of the stuff you brought for yeah. us today. So we've got all kinds of wonderful samples here from, uh, from burgers to pizza to bunt cakes to a couple of beverages that are available. Just a small sampling. And you can see the names of all of the vendors on the cards in front of us. Wolf Burger. Or Wolf burger. I knew yeah. I was going to mess that up. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're fine. Um, and yeah, I've heard that burger. That's a donut. Yeah. It's a it's a donut with bacon and cheese what? and hamburger. It is mm. to die for. It is a wonderful cuisine if, if you like hamburger. Yeah. Mm. This is right. going to be amazing. Um, okay, so what's one of the items that you're most excited about trying this year? Anything specific you're looking forward to at the event? So I am a I love the Nothing But Cakes. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. And uh, Nothing But Cakes was actually an award winner. Uh, last year was their first time participating, and they were the People's Choice Award winner, and they were also the Judge's Choice Award winner. So they're back for a second year. Um, all of the food is wonderful. Mm -hmm. All of the beverage is wonderful. It's really hard to pick out any one. So they're yeah. all good. I well, know. Uh, your ticket uh, gets you a chance to sample everything there, but then you're also participating in the competition as well. So what you're saying is the people are voting not just divas like Haley. Correct. Everybody, yeah. uh, everybody has an opportunity to vote. So when you sample the food, you have a little ballot, uh, and those are the People's Choice Awards. Gotcha. Uh, and we also have judges. So it's two and sets how, of awards. Well, how many categories are there? I mean, is it is it like overall? There's eight different like best in show. <laughs> There's eight different categories. So we uh, we uh, categorize by different types of food, both uh -huh. fine dining and casual dining, okay. different types of beverages, so think wine, think bourbon, think beer, uh, and we categorize, and then we have a couple of judges for each of the categories, and of course all of the participants can, judge, uh, can vote as well. There is so much to eat at this event, eat she and drink. I do. It really is so good. If you've never been, try it out this year, and you can give back to God's Pantry in such a big way. The 2018 at Taste of the Bluegrass, May 18th, 7 to 11 p.m. at Keeneland's Keen Barn and Entertainment Center. Go online to get your tickets, uh, tasteofthebluegrass2018.eventbrite.com. Thank you for coming Thank in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Good really appreciate it. It's good to see you all again. Oh, Thank good to you see you so too. much. Thank you.